Good morning, WayFam. Today we are talking about our most requested question. How do we afford to travel the world full time? I'm Ashley. This is my husband, Josh. Welcome to our channel. We sold everything we had to travel the world, and now we want to share with you the way away. So be sure to subscribe down below, hit that little like for us, and the bell so you can follow more of our adventures. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for coming in to check out this video. This is a really interesting topic, not only because um, I find it fascinating personally as a business thing, but because we get to share with you something that probably most of you don't know about. Um, but I will forewarn you, this is not going to give you the keys to the kingdom. None of these are secrets. This is not a top three reasons of how to travel the world by getting paid and blah. This is none of that. There are no secrets here, and you are not going to learn anything that you probably couldn't figure out yourself. What we are going to do is share our personal experience with you, yeah. how we did it, and what we plan to do. Figuring out how to travel long-term financially has been a learning experience for yeah. us. We didn't know how to do it at first, so the best way that we thought was to save money. Kind of happened in two phases. Like now is very different than how we did it before. Our saving money, we saved about $20,000 to travel the first year. It was savings, we were traveling off savings, um, and we weren't have, we didn't have an income. Yeah, so we sold everything we had. Yeah. And that's where we got a lot of that savings. We had no debt because we sold off the things that we had debt on. And we made a plan to travel the world over the course of a year, 12 different countries for 12 months using our savings, and then also work stays to help stave off our costs. Yeah. With the work stays, we used HelpX, World Packers, and Workaway. Mm -hmm. And with that, we found people who needed help around the house or the farm or whatever it was, and they gave us a place to sleep and some food and usually really good company. And with that experience, we went to Europe for a year and we spent as little as possible and somehow we decided to film it and that's where our YouTube channel started. We spent uh, about 20,000, actually it was a little bit more than that because we got our tax return and um, applied that, so probably closer to $25,000. And that carried us through the first year. We did everything as inexpensively as possible. We, we would ate beans and rice. We literally we ate, ate beans potatoes and, rice. and um, with with um, fish on top, tuna fish yep. on top. Like we were saving money because we knew we didn't have an income, so we right. had to make it stretch as long as we could. And we also didn't have a plan of what to do when the money ran out. We ran out. We knew that we would probably be going back home, and in the beginning, we thought we were just gonna go back to work yeah. after a year abroad. Right? So it wasn't that big a deal. We're like, okay, we'll go probably for a year until we have as uh, just enough money to fly back home and then we'll fly home and we'll get jobs. After the year was up, we realized we liked YouTube. We really enjoyed it. And we had around 2,000 plus people watching in December when we went home for Christmas. And we thought, hey, this could actually be a thing. You know, we were very naive Good. with yeah. 2,000 subscribers thinking, hey, this could really be a thing. But it was then that we had to make the choice yes. uh, with the zero, well, maybe a thousand to two thousand dollars in our bank account to either continue or to get jobs in our hometown. Mm -hmm. And that's where phase mm -hmm. two came in. So phase one was us spend, uh, selling everything we had and using that money plus um, some cost savings things that we did to travel the world. Phase two is when we thought to ourselves, okay, let's really do a travel-focused YouTube channel. And we decided that we just needed to go full force into it. But the problem was we didn't have money. We knew that given the small amount of income we were making overall, we could probably sustain ourselves in Mexico for a little while. And we figured at some point something would work, right? We, we kind of had a dream. So from the year before, one of our subscribers had asked us, hey, why don't you guys have a Patreon? And so we just started it and he started supporting us monthly and then a mm -hmm. few other people supported us monthly. And I think we had probably like 15 supporters on Patreon for a while. And that was coming to a couple hundred dollars a month, just enough to be like, hey, wow, people are really being generous and really helping support this YouTube channel. This, this is uh, incredible. 
So we had, we knew we had a little bit of money coming in monthly from Patreon. And at that point, I think we figured out we were making around a hundred dollars a month with ad revenue from YouTube. The way it works with YouTube is you post a video online and if you meet the requirements, you can sign up for the YouTube partner program and that will allow you to monetize your videos so that when somebody watches your video and an ad plays against that video, you get a little bit of the money that the advertiser paid YouTube. A teeny tiny bit. A tiny bit. <laughs> I think it comes out to around $2 for every 2,000 ads that somebody watched. Um, so not much because at that time we were quite small. So every month we were making a couple hundred from Patreon, around a hundred dollars from YouTube, and I was doing side work for some people that I knew back in LA, and I would work from my computer doing all kinds of logistics, t team management, uh, data processing, really nerdy stuff. I was essentially a digital nomad, and that money fluctuated depending on how much time I had, how much work they had. The Patreon wasn't necessarily reliable. YouTube ad revenue certainly wasn't reliable. None of it was enough singularly, but all together it kind of came to where we thought we had a couple hundred dollars every month and we could probably stay and work in Mexico for a while. In February of 2017, we hit 5,000 subscribers. At that point, we knew that possibly we could partner with tourism boards in Mexico. We were really excited about this. I was emailing tourism boards, seeing what kind of things that we could do, possibly partner with different cities in Mexico. And I didn't hear back from many people at all, and it was really discouraging. But we kept making videos in Puerto yep. Vallarta, kept pushing through, and um, finally I got an email from the Puerto Vallarta tourism board saying, hey, we keep seeing you guys' videos and um, we'd like to work with you. We were so excited. It came out of nowhere and we were just like, it's working, it's working. It was the first partnership that we had ever had and it was just like, yes, this is possibly something that will work out. Mm -hmm. Our YouTube channel may be successful someday. Right. It was just a little push because I think by that time we were kind of discouraged. Yeah, we were looking at the money going, man, we can't we can't do much else. We can't afford to fly anywhere else. So it's I, it's going to be just Mexico and then eventually our visa will come out and we'll have to go I guess back home. Yeah. Unless things change and things did change. So Puerto Vallarta partnered with us to do a giveaway to have other people come to Puerto Vallarta. They paid us to do the giveaway and if you watch that video you'll see it says this is a paid sponsorship. Visit Puerto Vallarta has worked with us to give you guys a trip to Puerto Vallarta. It includes a three night stay in a hotel. Your plane tickets are paid for and you get to do some of the things that we did in our videos while we were there. It was the first thing we did and it was incredible because that was enough money to get us through the next several months and to get us yeah. elsewhere in the world. Not only that, but it was the first time that we could give back to our community. Yep. And to us, that was so exciting because before that, I mean, I was writing postcards to our Patreons, but other than that, doing a giveaway we had never done before. Mm -hmm. And so it was just really cool that we could give back to you. We were also trying to work with as many Airbnbs or hotels or tourism agencies to create content. So we knew that we weren't really big enough that we could ask for money, or at least we didn't feel confident in it. So we basically just told Airbnbs, hotels, and tourism boards, and uh, companies like tourism companies, hey, let us take a tour and we'll film it and we'll share it with our audience. Or let us stay the night for a discount or for free and we'll film our experience. And we did that pretty much all throughout 2017 in many different ways. Mm -hmm. um, however, after the Puerto Vallarta thing happened, we had a friend of ours, Kinging It, who invited us to come to Iceland. And we're like, okay, yes, let's go back to Iceland and we'll work with a company there to promote their camper vans. We didn't get paid for that, but we knew that we would have an amazing time and really good content. At the same time though, <laughs> A company called Pixter contacted us and said, hey, would you guys be interested in, in these camera lenses? Now, if you don't know this, 
I used to work in Hollywood. I even used to work as a lab technician for a cinema lens company. Right. I would fix and clean lenses. So I'm kind of a, a lens nerd. And I, I went back and forth with them. I asked about the quality. I asked for samples. And finally we agreed, okay, yeah, I think these are pretty good. Let's try them out. And then if I, if I like them, let's actually right. work with you guys to be a sponsor for a series of videos. And we thought, okay, we can do a series of videos about these lenses in Iceland and it'll be really cool and epic. Just combine these partnerships together. That gave us the money that we needed to get to Iceland. And we did a whole thing there. Um, the, the picture lenses were awesome. Yes. We were really impressed with them. And the camper van company paid for gas they at least. They were incredible too. So yeah. that was great. And we loved the camper van. Yeah. It all worked out perfectly. It was amazing. And then, we were invited to go to Cyprus or North Cyprus. So the, so we flew ourselves to Europe. This co the company in North Cyprus flew us down to North Cyprus, and we made content for them for free. But they gave us a bunch of free stuff, and that got us sort of into Europe proper, as it were. Yeah. After Cyprus, we went to Turkey for a full month. That month was totally on us. We tried to work with the tourism board and they wanted control over every single thing we did. And we want, we didn't want that. That's not the kind of partnerships we say yes to. Yeah. So we decided to go to Turkey on for a month on our own, making all our plans. While we were there, we were invited to Qatar with a company called Mind Sports. They were doing an event and invited us to be a part of it. Yeah. Um, and this is our third and last of 2017 paid sponsorship. They paid us $1,000 for a week. And they also put us up in Qatar, which would have been extremely expensive. Yeah. And we looked at it as an opportunity that we may never have again. Um, to go visit it, Qatar and see it. It was really cool. Like it was, we met um, amazing YouTubers there and yeah. we had such a cool time like learning about Qatar and the Qatari people. So a quick recap on 2017, we had a little bit of ad revenue and that was growing as the year went on. We had um, some Patreons that was growing and becoming a much bigger thing as time went on. We had three paid partnerships and that basically coupled with a bunch of free stuff or discounts plus the side work I was doing was mm. just enough to keep our heads above water for all of 2017. And that basically brings us up to date to where we are now. We still have zero in our bank account and a little bit of a plan. So 2018 is the year where we wanna make Patreon a big thing. We don't wanna do a ton of sponsored content. We don't wanna be beholden to a bunch of different yeah. brands. And the way our style works, we don't wanna just accept every sponsorship that comes across our desk. And Which we, we don't. don't, yeah. I think we've accepted 1% yeah, probably about 1% of every partnership that's been sent our way. Again, that's why we've only had three paid sponsorships. We don't want brands to drive the content. We want the community to drive the content. And because the channel has grown so big, we can't keep up with 60 plus thousand of you all the time. So we're hoping to make Patreon a much bigger focus. We'll make a separate video on that. But I do want to encourage you guys to check out the Patreon if you're not already. We want to make the Patreon community sort of the core of Wayfam. But we'll get to that in a different video. It's really exciting. In addition to that, we are beginning to work with more tourism boards now. Yeah. We feel legitimized. You know, we've had a couple paid sponsorships yeah. and we, we can... We still get a lot of no's. We still get a ton <laughs> of no's. But yeah. we can talk to a, um, we can talk to a tourism board and sometimes we have to fly ourselves out there still and sometimes they pay us a little bit, but we're hoping to bring on a few partners who sponsor like a series of videos continuously. So like a yeah. long-term partner of the channel, not just a one-off company that's like, here, check out this product. We wanna work with companies that we really believe in them. They believe in the vision of sharing the world to you guys yeah. in a way that encourages community and breaking down barriers and we're working with a few companies to possibly make that happen. 2018 is going to be a very exciting year of a ton of new and cool stuff for the channel, but we don't even know exactly what's gonna work out yet. So yeah. a lot of really cool ideas, nothing 100% solid just yet. <laughs> we're working on it. These kind of partnerships, like I know a ton of you are going to ask in the comments, how do you get partnerships? What do you yeah. do to find these partnerships? 
while we were in Mexico, once we hit 5,000, we were like, how do we do this? We don't know. Our friend Laura, who you've seen the videos before, she has been a huge help since then. So it's pretty much been a year that Laura's been with us and she really helps us with the lingo, finding play, uh, the peop right people to talk to, writing emails, mm -hmm. writing proposals. Um, she has pretty much been a lifesaver for us and we would not be where we are today without Absolutely her. Absolutely not. And uh, we barely, barely pay her. <laughs> I made yeah. a deal with her. I said, if we get something that makes us money, we'll give you some of the money. <laughs> yeah. And because she's our, like one of our best friends, she's like, yeah, okay. Okay. And we're like, because we could not <laughs> afford to actually have someone help us that wasn't a friend. So I hope that gives you guys an idea of how we afford to travel the world full time. Like I said in the beginning, this is not going to give you any real secrets. It's not going to necessarily yeah. teach you how to do it. The truth is there are no secrets on how to do it. It's just a ton of hustle and a ton of hard work. YouTube, these videos is our product and um, Thankfully, you guys don't have to pay for them, but uh, we do have partners and sponsors that come along to help make this possible. Hopefully in 2018, we can get to a point where we don't feel like we're scrambling all the time. The last two years definitely felt like that, and I hope to get to a place where we don't feel like we talk about money. I, I don't wanna actually make the channel about like everything's low budget, have to cut costs everywhere, worrying about money. We don't wanna yeah. share that with you guys because that's not the way that most of you are gonna travel. If you go on a trip, you're most likely going to do it as um, like a vacation. And we want to share something a little bit more along those lines, but still involve a lot of the DIY experience that Local we enjoy. Flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this encouraged you guys to get out there and travel today, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.